Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at July 22 releases for Gotcha Games. Now, some of these games do have official July release dates. Some of them state, you know, summer or Q3 or something like that. And others are ones that have just announced globals and stuff like that. So we've got a bunch to go through in this one. So let's get into it. So first up, we have Noah's Heart. Now, this is one that kind of slipped my radar. I remembered hearing about it a while ago, uh, and then I completely forgot about it. It's going to be another one of those MMOs. We've got the official release on on July 28th and we do have some European countries getting a soft launch on July 14th for Android players. Now this one um, it's like I said it's an MMO a lot of that stuff's going on it is by the same people that did uh, Dragon Raja which if you don't remember that was one that was kind of hyped like years ago two three years ago um, and it sort of just completely just went nowhere so curious to see this one you know with all the other games coming out like Tower of Fantasy um, you know Ether Gazer getting announced for global Wuthering Waves going through the technical test I sort of completely forgot about this one and then when I was looking through the Google Play Store I was like oh this game I kind of remember that so it's one that uh, you know I'm probably not going to invest a hell of a lot of time I will play it I will try it you know when it um comes out if I can get into the soft launch easily through tap tap or something like that then I will if not I'll probably just wait for global but you know it's got this daily login thing if you want to do you've got to sign up um, it shows your email so I just signed out but you, daily you click on these three things you don't actually have to share uh, or follow on Facebook and it'll just unlock different things in these uh, and then you'll get perks down the bottom uh, they've got guilds already being set up so you can join the discord and get into guilds if you're keen uh, and then that you can check out all the different areas um, you know, just through this, and it actually has videos of them, but I don't know why the videos aren't coming up now. There it is. So yeah, you, you can have a little look at the landscapes and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, it looks not bad. I don't know too much about it, so it's one of those ones I'm just going to sort of jump into blind uh, and see how it goes. It does have a pre-registration on PC, so I'm assuming that means it will have the PC client as well. So that is Noah's Heart. Next up's going to be The Legend of Neverland. Now, this is another one I completely slipped my radar and I jumped into the store and it's actually already got a Southeast Asia version. So if you're keen to jump in and test this game you can download it off tap tap i got like eight other things that i'm testing out at the moment i will eventually get into this game to test it it is going to be another one of those mmos this one on the official website uh, it doesn't say state pc so i'm not sure if it is going to have a pc client which is often a big thing for these tyler of games pc clients just especially when they're these mmo open world games just makes them a lot easier um however it does look like it has a decent bit of customization once again it's another one i don't know too much about it's a standard sort of thing the world world looks pretty cool characters look a bit bland on the in-game side um but the designs are really cool you know it's it pops in colors landscapes not as detailed as other games um but you know it's one that i i, I want to test as well it looks kind of cool um you know it's got your standard green archer girl i know fg 3000 <laughs> would pay out on this but i actually like <laughs> The standard green archer girls. That's me. You can come down here and check out all the characters um, and take a look, see if there's anything you like. Um, but yeah, like it's another one of those ones. I, I, I'm happy to test it out. Like I said, there's just so many of these style of games coming out. Um, it gets a bit just busy with them so you know i'll check it out i'll probably do a video covering it let you guys know my thoughts um once i do get time to play it playing a bunch of other games that we'll talk about in a minute so that one is what was this one called again <laughs> i've already forgotten the name the legend of neverland next up we have octopath traveler now this is a game by square enix uh you know the 2d game they do a lot of these 2d style games it, it looks decent. I didn't play the beta. I think I saw Lacey playing the beta. I can't remember who it was. Um, I did watch someone play the beta. It looks decent. Like These games can be incredibly fun. Uh, I haven't looked into it too much. It's not been like the top game on my radar, but I'll jump into it and play it, see if it's fun. And if it is, you know, maybe stick around for a little bit and enjoy the fun while it's there. Um, this one is going to be releasing on July 27th, 2022. So keep an eye out for that. Um, you know, Square Enix 
It's 2D pixel art, which is quirky. I do like. We'll have to wait and see. But that is Octopath Traveler. Okay, so that is going to do it for games that do have an official release date in July that I could find. There could be others. That I, you know, I, I searched my best, guys, you know. <laughs> but uh, now we're going to go into games that have like a range of release dates. So first one being Tower of Fantasy. We are up to 1 million uh, pre-registrations. If we get to that two and a half, we get a nice temple. Um, this one, I have to give a massive shout out to Soul over on Discord. He DM'd me. He's like, oh, I can help you. I've got an account that you can get onto the CN version. So I am playing the CN version now. I just started last night. Um, so I'll definitely play that more uh, and gather more information and try and get half decent asset before the global release of the game. Uh, but Tower of Fantasy, it is due for release in Q3 2022. So, you know, when that is could be July. I don't think it's going to be July. If it is, it'd be right at the end. Uh, I feel like they'd announce the release date for a fair while and have, you know, a fair, fair stretch before it does release. Um, but obviously, we do have the CN version if you want to play it. But Terra Fantasy... I, I'm looking forward to this one. I know it's had its issues and stuff like that. I've mentioned this before, but it looks like I'll, I'll at least have a month's worth of solid fun in it. If not, hopefully more. Uh, I'm keen to... I didn't get into the PvP on beta. I didn't have enough time to play the beta. So hopefully on a CN version, I can get into the PvP and see how that goes because it's something, you know... I personally like, even though I know most people hate, but that is Tower of Fantasy. Next up is going to be Ether Gazer. Now, this one's website has a countdown to something. I don't think it's release date, so we'll have to wait and see what that is. Now, this game is going to be published by Yostar. You can see they're taking Yostar. There's some posts earlier, which, you know, obviously have a fairly decent game after Ark Knights. So we'll have to see how this one goes. I think this one's going to be very similar to Punishing Grey Raven. You can play the CN version now, and you can install it over on TapTap -Tap if you want. I just installed it yesterday uh, and we'll start giving it a look and having a bit of a play with it but this one uh, very much reminds me of Punishing Grey Raven that sort of instance style action RPG with really cool as you can see unique character designs cool stuff going on a lot of different combat styles and all that stuff but um, yeah you, you can see from the, the look of it it just has that PGR feel to it and honestly, I think it's going to be, for me, a very similar game to Punishing Grey Raven, where I'm going to absolutely love it at the global launch. Uh, I'll play the hell out of it, grind all the way through everything, but it's just going to be a matter of whether this type of game, uh, for me personally, I know other play people play more casually, but for me, I like to grind games super hard, so I'll have to see how much content and how regular the content is um, in the flow of the game as to how much it can you know, keep me engaged, but definitely I think this one's going to be a hell of a lot of fun for as long as you do have fun with it um and it just like <laughs> this kind of stuff just looks really cool so i'm definitely looking forward to this game we'll definitely be playing the global and like i said installed the cn version last night so i will be playing that as well getting a feel for the game but not too sure on the exact release date we have a countdown in nine days to something uh, and i'll let you guys know what that is when it drops next up i just wanted to touch on Wuthering waves now this isn't close to a release at all but it is in a technical test at the moment um i know tamias has access to it chaotic's covering it heavily uh, i put a video out it was my last video on the channel about this game. I think this game is going to be amazing. I think it's going to be very big. It's by Kuro Game, who was the same um, developer as Punishing Grey Raven, but it's more of an open world style feel. So I really like the look of this game. It's only in a technical test. It's a long way to release, but I just wanted to throw it in here to remind you guys about this one and that it is coming. Next up is going to be Alice Fiction. Now, this one, I think I saw FG3000 player beta, it might have been. Um, but this one, it kind of reminds me of the slime game combat. Like, I don't know too much. It looks like, you know, you're trying to match the colors and stuff like that. I remember that from the slime game that kept disconnecting and I played it for about... I tried playing it for three hours and got about 10 minutes of gameplay and quit. But... It reminds me of that style of combat. How exactly it works, I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, this this is just another one of those, you know, quirky little gotcha games coming out that if you want to give it a crack, you can give it a crack. Now, as for a release date, don't know the exact release date. It is in pre-registration. Add a quick Google. So keep this in mind, this is a loose Google search. I just searched Alex Fiction release date. <laughs> you know, it says summer 2022. So, you know, that one's coming out. 
Uh, don't know in depth about this one. I will test it out when it comes uh, and let you guys know my thoughts on it. But that is Alice Fiction. <laughs> Next up, we have Dear Ella, which is one by Come To Us. Uh, obviously, Come To Us, Summoner's War. Since that, they haven't really had a smash hit of a game that I've seen. But I, I doubt this one's going to be it, but we'll wait and see. Now, I'm confused by this game because this looks very Epic 7 style. And then you jump into combat and it's 3D and stuff. And this looks like a straight ripoff of their Summoner's War Lost Centuria, which is like, you know, one of those real time strategy type games where you have like a mana bar and then you have characters' abilities with cooldowns and stuff like that. That's what it looks like. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not too massive on this game. I just saw it in the, um, you know, in the Play Store when I was going through. So I thought I'd cover it because, you know, come to us quite notable. And then I went to the website. Uh, it is going to be an NFT game. Now, believe it or not, I spend a lot of time in the NFT space playing different NFT games and testing them out. What I've found so far is that games, like game companies really suck at implementing the 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 crypto side of it like th these game companies they try and just do their staple gotcha games and throw crypto in and it just does not work the, the, no games have like none of these games that come from traditional mobile gaming companies have worked out how to model a crypto game uh, and it basically just always dilutes the experience of the game in my opinion so far i think in the future you know it could offer something to this gaming space i, I really do think that um which i know some people definitely don't think that but i think it can offer something i just think at the moment the way the games are implementing it is just horrible their economic model is just one that's doomed to fail so you know i'm cautious when i jump into gotcha games based on this even though i am deep in the crypto space uh and doing a lot of research and testing of it just from my experience playing a bunch of games that were previously mobile games and then turned into crypto games it, it dilutes the game experience a fair bit. Nino Kuni, as much as hate as it's got, it was probably the best example, but it had the problem where it got overrun by bots. So it's it, it's a very gray area. So I just thought I'd cover this one because come to us. I don't think it's going to be great. The gameplay doesn't look like anything unique. It feels like it's going to be a watered down gaming experience. But hey, if you want to jump in, jump in and to finish it off we have diablo immortal 2.0 we have harry potter Mag harry potter magic awakened uh who knows when this is coming out it's still in the pre-register so i just thought i'd cover it uh i've covered it many times before it'll be here when it's here anyway guys that is it for july 2022 thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers